We are weeks deep into the fourth anniversary of Dragon Ball Legends, and it, it doesn't it doesn't really feel like it. Now, I've mentioned multiple times that I think Dragon Ball Super Superheroes delay has affected Legends, Dokkan, etc. And I still stand by that. I stand by that even more now. But I think I was wrong about how they're going to release all the characters on this game that are a collaboration with Dragon Ball Super Superhero due to the fact of how secretive they are being with everything in that film. I originally thought by now we would absolutely have a new unit from the film inside Dragon Ball Legends, and that's not the case. But the part that confuses me as to why it hasn't happened yet, and the reason why I was so convinced it would, we already have Gamma 1 and 2 in Dragon Ball Legends, and have for almost two months now why do they do this sort of pre-movie collaboration to get you hyped for these characters to then not capitalize on the initial hype of the release this weekend in japan the movie has been out almost six days in japan at this point and here we are no new superhero characters in sight and so this whole time for the fourth anniversary i've been thinking the superhero delay has really held them back as to what they wanted to release because i do believe that the global release would have been happening about right now had they have actually launched on the 22nd of April, their original release date for the film. But I definitely did not anticipate them being this secretive with all of these sort of final act characters. I definitely imagine by now we'd have trailers and previews of all the crazy stuff that happens in Superhero, and of course the games would also be showing that off. But since they're still being so secretive with the film having been out coming up on almost a week now, and they're still not showing any of that stuff off, probably due to their global release, they don't want to spoil their global release audience as well, my guess is the games are aren't allowed to touch any of that either. This is sort of a manga situation. A lot of people always ask for manga related characters, especially since Dragon Ball Super is continuing on and we're a couple of arcs deep now, past where the anime went, and we haven't seen any of those characters. It's pretty obvious at this point that they cannot touch any manga characters. So I'm guessing Dokkan, Legends, etc. Same rule applies to anything that hasn't been shown in trailers already for Dragon Ball Super Superhero, which means all of the incredibly hype stuff that happens at the ending of Superhero probably won't be in legends anytime soon because we finally got the official global release for dragon ball super superhero which is august 19th in the u.s and many locations around the world so i think in legends it's going to be sometime after that date before we get any of the collaboration units and that kind of sucks now my original reasoning is because again dbs broly we literally had a broly day of release day of release on the movie they had already put gamma one and two in legends so i thought boom they're gonna do the same thing with superhero uh and, and the marketing for this film is is just I don't get the marketing on this film. Most of you have to agree with me, right? Like, what? So that kind of changes everything for the fourth anniversary as to what I was thinking they were going to do. Because I thought, you know, you're coming into a part one of the anniversary, we always get a bunch of hype characters. So coming into the anniversary, there's a pretty typical structure they follow. They do a part one where they release a bunch of new characters. Again, last year, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Merge Zamasu were two LFs released immediately as part one began. And then we had a part two around June 22nd-ish that gave us a free to play Play Ultra Vegeta and then another legendary finished character in the form of Revival Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I thought they'd shift that a little bit with the fourth anniversary and part one was then just UI Goku obviously as we've known for the last couple of weeks they do a midway before their typical part two collaborative thing with Dragon Ball Super Superhero and then give us a quote-unquote part three around the June 22nd mark and give us like another Ultra or something like that. But that's obviously not happening. So right now for anniversary let's look at the pros here. UI Goku. and lots of rewards okay i'll give them that there's lots of rewards there's tons of things to summon for you can argue the summon pools are a little eh but there are a lot of rewards right now soon around the anniversary that is the one thing that makes me at least kind of feel like we're in the middle of the anniversary and i'll give them number three the free to play units have been good and this free to play gogeta i'm glad is finally here this 2019 boss free to play gogeta is finally released the cons is that some of those rewards are locked behind having ui goku and even worse they're locked behind having ui goku at a certain star range now that blows my mind they would do i can't i can't <laughs> i can't with that then the sort of just lack of overall content I, I don't know what it is i can't quite put my finger on it but something about it it just there just doesn't feel like there's a lot of content this time i don't know now an obvious one at least right now a lack of premium characters i'm sure that they're thinking ui goku is someone that can absolutely carry any part of an anniversary that he's in and i agree he's sort of the peak like i think he is he is peak bro he's like vegeta blue vegeta blue levels of hype and 
And on that same note, I'm okay with not that many SPs on banners because at the end of the day, like, yeah, the transforming Vegeta is cool, but we're all here for UI Goku. So if they had added another SP with the Vegeta and the UI Goku, sure, they could have been cool. But at the end of the day, we're all here for the UI Goku. And I accept that. And that's fine with me. But I would have liked another LF. It's a pro and a con because if you add more LFs and there's more to want to go and summon for. So just having UI is kind of nice that you just go for UI and then you call it a day. And my last con, and I already kind of said it, it just, it just doesn't feel like an adversary. It just kind of feels like another month in Legends. Like, I don't know how truly you all get what I'm saying. Let me know down below. How are you feeling about the anniversary? I, 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 I know the general consensus, but what is something that you wish they had done so far in the anniversary you feel like would have made it better? And like that video while I'm already here. So here's what I'm thinking happens next week. We've already got the update for this week, which is the free to play DBS Gogeta. So next week is when they will likely bring it and potentially change people's outlook on the fourth anniversary. We'll see. But since I've said everything else in this video, obviously we're getting none of the crazy characters from Superhero, but they can still give us Ultimate Gohan and Ultimate Piccolo and potentially some sort of duo LF Gamma 1 and 2 unit. I think those are the only real candidates for an LF from Superhero currently. Now, I think they would be absolutely insane to not do some form of a really hyped Superhero character. And what I mean by that is obviously just a legendary finish Superhero related character right now. Even though the film hasn't released worldwide, it has been out in Japan at that point for almost two weeks. So to not do something with a Gohan or a Piccolo or a Gamma 1 and 2 next week would be absurd. So I do think we're getting something like that. I also think there is going to be a second character. I don't think we leave this anniversary without three premium characters. That's what we got last year. That's what I think we'll get this year. That's even Legends Festival. Like Legends Festival, we got three premium characters. We got the new Sword of Hope Trunks. We got the duo Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta unit. And then we got Ultra Super Gogeta. I feel like that sort of like skeleton, you know, that you kind of can go by for a celebration on Legends should and could be applied here as well. And we are still due up for two more hype characters. I originally thought they would drop two premium LF characters from the movie. I don't think that's happening yet. I think we're getting one as an LF and then probably a couple as SPs. And then I am still stuck on the fact that I think we're going to get another altar. We are actually due up for an altar. They drop them about every three months. Just for the facts here in March of last year was when we got our first ultra, which was the Goku. Then in June, we got Vegeta. Then in October, we got Omega Shinron. And then in December, Super Gogeta, March, Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken Goku. And now we are back in June. June. We are due for a new ultra. I'm hoping we get two. I'd like to get a free to play one and a summonable one, but I think that's probably asking for way too much. I'm so stuck on the fact that we don't make it out of this anniversary without a super Vegito, but I also think Z Broly is a very, very big and good candidate for the next ultra character too. And I don't think they do anything ultra related with superhero right now, because if they are going to do something ultra related with superhero, I think it happens after they can sort of reveal and use anything from the film, not being restricted to what just been shown off in trailers. So I think the obvious one here is just probably a transforming LF Gohan that goes from Super Saiyan 2 into Ultimate because that's been revealed in the trailers. Again, I would not be opposed to an LF Ultimate Piccolo that's also been revealed in the trailers. That's where he sort of like loses his like lines on his skin and he looks really dope. But I think the true one here will be an LF Ultimate Gohan and then probably like an SP Ultimate Piccolo, a new SP Gotenks from the film because that's also been in the trailers or a fusing Goten and Trunks into uh, Gotenks. And again, I don't think Goku, Vegeta, and Broly are necessarily off the table either because I think they could obviously do some sort of SP with them too. And so I think that's kind of what we're looking at next week. I think a lot of that is a pretty solid picture here. I'm just blown away by the fact they're not spooling this movie yet. And therefore, obviously the games aren't going to be using any of that stuff either. I would love to be wrong. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Next week, when we probably get a reveals and stuff thing later this week, I would love to be wrong. I would love to them just be able to bring it and drop something crazy, but I think they're going to be super restricted into what has been shown off to the worldwide audience and that leaves a lot on the table from that film so i'm sure at some point in this year we're gonna be getting excited for some new superhero units and we will be getting probably excited for some next week but just not quite the peak penultimate levels of hype that actually in that movie, which is also due to the fact that they're just advertising that movie in a terrible way. I'm sorry. There's like, there's a way to do it and there's a way to not do it. And superhero is not the way to do it. It's like the biggest overcorrection in history, bro. Broly gave us a lot, maybe even too much. And then now superhero hasn't given us enough at all. It sucks. But that's it for me. Y'all have a great day. Keep on keeping on. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.